If you're a gamer and you're using Microsoft Windows, it doesn't matter what system specs you have, I highly recommend running your Windows build using the Tiny11 Builder. The optimizations that Tiny11 Builder makes to Microsoft Windows to reduce the background processes and apps is fantastic allows a lot more to be available for gaming, for productivity, for anything that I want to do. The RAM is mine. It doesn't belong to Microsoft Windows. Let's go! Check it out. Tiny11 Builder. Do not confuse it with Tiny11 Core. Those are two different versions. I honestly 100% recommend it for gamers. First things first, head over to Google, type in download Windows 11. And here you're actually going to go to the second option. Click on Windows 11. And then here on the download Windows 11 options, you're going to scroll down to where it says download Windows 11 disk image for X64 devices. Select your download Windows 11 multi edition. Download now. Select the language you want. I'm going to go with English United States. That gives you a download link that works for 24 hours. Go ahead and click that and save it somewhere where you're going to remember. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to github.com forward slash ntdevlabs forward slash tiny11 builder. This is what we're going to use. This is the tiny11 maker PowerShell script. And ntdev actually has the instructions on how to use this, but you can use this video as your guide if you'd like. Now, why do I like tiny11 builder? Is because these things that are pre included with Microsoft Windows 11 are stripped out. And these are all items that typically run in the background and use additional space or aren't used at all or are running services. But let's cut to it. You're gonna download tiny11maker.ps1. Go ahead and click on that. Now this PowerShell script is absolutely goaded compared to others that I've seen out there. Very well written, very clean, and nothing sus going on at all. Go head over to the top right and go ahead and download that. You're going to want to put the Tiny11 Maker PowerShell script in a folder where you want it to put the brand new ISO it's going to make from this Windows 11 24H2 ISO. This is not the one you're going to use for your final installation. Check this out. First step is to double click on that ISO you just downloaded from Microsoft. That way it loads up as a virtual image here on your PC. Now, before you run the PowerShell script, go ahead and right click on it and head over to the properties. You're going to want to unblock this file. Otherwise, it's not going to run properly. Click OK. Now, go ahead and right click on it and run with PowerShell. It's going to ask you to elevate the permissions. Yes, that's OK. And this is what